This is the first of the interviews that I'm doing at the Project Teams Gathering in Denver, Colorado. This is the second PTG that we've held. The first one was in Atlanta in February. And at this event, we have a gathering of people that work all across the OpenStack ecosystem. So Tristan, would you introduce yourself? Yes, of course. So I'm uh, Tristan Dicacre. I work for uh, Red Hat as a software engineer and um, I'm working on a project called Software Factory. So tell me a little bit about what that is and what the relevance is to uh, the OpenStack project. Yes, absolutely. So Software Factory is an integration of um, the um, uh, development platform that has been created for uh, the OpenStack project. So it's an uh, integrated uh, code review system, uh, continuous integration, um, mechanisms to uh, ensure that the projects are uh, stable and, uh, and lots of collaborative tools. So basically what it does is it lets the project or community to uh, deploy uh, the OpenStack uh, infra uh, system so that everyone could use the same development workflow as uh, it's being done for the OpenStack project. How many of the projects are using Software Factory. So we have the main. Uh, our main user uh, would be the RDO project, that is the uh, review.rdoproject.org uh, uh, system. Is actually a software factory uh, deployed. All right. Can you give us a, an overview of some of the functionality that uh, that you've been working on in the, in the past six months? Yes, of course. So uh, the great uh, challenge we went through was like six months was to uh, package everything as uh, RPM uh, uh, artifacts so that uh, there is uh, uh, less moving parts. And then there is a, a configuration management system that uh, can be used to install the whole things uh, very easily. It works a bit like a RDO with a pack stack. Like there is a, with three commands, you get the full system up and running. So that have been proven uh, like a nice uh, feature for uh, getting better adoption and it's easier to work on. What is still to do? What's what's coming in the next few releases? So we are looking at uh, uh, more precise use cases. For example, we realized that uh, this could be used for third-party CIs, people that does not necessarily want to host a full development platform, but still wants to be able to uh, run tests uh, for uh, uh, other projects such as uh, OpenStack project or, or maybe GitHub project and stuff. Well, I forgot to mention that uh, Software Factory is using a, um, a service to create a test instance, like to run the test for the project that is using OpenStack. So um, this is a great component because it enables to scale. Like if there are like many changes to test. Uh, we don't have to manage a test instance manually and uh, this is uh, getting like uh, new features so we may be able to support other test environments such as maybe uh, OpenShift or uh, Amazon or different uh, um, resource uh, providers. So that's what we have been looking for. If I want to find out more about Software Factory, maybe get involved in the project, where do I go? Yes, so uh, there is a, we develop Software Factory using Software Factory, so the main instance is called uh, softwarefactory-project.io. This is where the development is happening, and there you will find uh, the mailing list and the IRC channel where you can get involved if you want to join the And that link will be in the description of the video. If you look at this on YouTube, that'll be down below the video. So please visit that project. and. Uh, Give it a try and maybe get involved. Thank you so much for yes. speaking with me. No, I don't. And I hope that the meetings this week are very productive. Yes, indeed. It's uh, great to be uh, in Denver to meet with all the great open Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.